breaking news that could change your life overnight. Hold on to your seats because what I'm about to tell you isn't just another government announcement. It's an urgent warning that could affect your family's Christmas this year. In a shocking development, the Department for Work and Pensions is about to implement changes that could see thousands of people losing access to an eye-watering 70 million in benefits before Christmas 2024. And yes, you could be one of them. Picture this. It's Christmas morning. You're reaching for your bank account to buy those last-minute essentials, and suddenly... Now, you might be thinking, this won't affect me. I've been claiming benefits for years. But here's the bombshell. Long-term claimants are actually the most at risk. The DWP is launching its most extensive review of claims in recent history, and they are not playing around. They're using advanced verification systems, cross-checking data, and implementing stricter rules than ever before. When was the last time you updated your information? can't remember? That's exactly why you need to keep watching. Let me share something that happened to Sarah from Manchester last week. She'd been receiving universal credit for two years without any issues. One small change in her circumstances. A part-time job she picked up for just six hours a week led to her entire claim being suspended. Why? Because she didn't report it within the required time frame. Sarah's story isn't unique. And it could be your story next if you don't take action now. But here's where it gets really interesting and scary. The DWP isn't just looking at obvious changes like employment. They're scrutinizing everything. Your address, phone number, household composition, savings, even your shopping patterns. Yes, you heard that right. They're using sophisticated data matching techniques to spot inconsistencies in claims. Did you know they can now check your bank transactions? Or that they're using social media to verify people's circumstances? This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. The numbers are staggering. Initial reports suggested up to 1-0-0-0-0-0 claims could be affected. Think about that for a moment. That's enough people to fill Wembley Stadium, and then some. Each of these claims represents a real person, a real family, real lives that could be turned upside down just weeks before Christmas. The average amount of risk per claim? It could be anywhere from a few hundred to several thousand pounds. Can your family afford to lose that kind of money right now? But here's the thing that's keeping me up at night. And it should worry you too. Many of the people most at risk, are those who need the support most desperately. We're talking about elderly pensioners who might miss postal notifications, single parents juggling multiple jobs who might not have time to check their universal credit journal, disabled individuals who might struggle with the verification process. These are the people who could wake up one morning to find their financial lifeline cut. Now, Let's talk about something that's not making the headlines but absolutely should be. The timing of this crackdown. Why now? Why right before Christmas? The cost of living crisis is already pushing families to the brink. Energy bills are soaring. Food prices are through the roof. And now this? It feels like a perfect storm, doesn't it? But here's the crucial part. Unlike the weather, this is something you can actually do something about. Let me ask you a question that might make you uncomfortable. When was the last time you read through your claimant commitment? 
When did you last check if all your contact details are up to date? If you're stumbling over these questions, you're not alone. But you're also potentially at risk. The DWP is taking a no-tolerance approach to outdated or incorrect information. They're not making exceptions and they're not sending multiple reminders. Here's another shocking fact that's not getting enough attention. The verification process isn't just about big changes. Even small discrepancies can trigger a review. Did you switch energy suppliers recently? Changed your phone contract? Started shopping at a different supermarket? These seemingly insignificant changes in your spending patterns could flag your account for review. It sounds extreme, but this is the new reality we're dealing with. But don't panic. I'm not here just to frighten you. I'm here to help you protect yourself and your family. Let's talk solutions. First things first, you need to do a complete audit of your claim. And I mean complete. Pull out all those letters you've been avoiding. Log into your uni universal credit journal right now. Yes, right now. While you're watching this video, check your spam folder for emails from the DWP. Have you moved in the last year? Make sure they have your current address. Here's a little known fact that could save your claim. The DWP actually prefers you to report changes early, even if you're not sure they're relevant. It's better to over-report than under-report. Think about any changes in your life over the past 12 months. New relationship, children started school, changed doctors. These all could be relevant to your claim. Let's talk about documentation because this is where many people trip up. You need to have what I call a benefit emergency kit ready to go. This should include three months of bank statements, recent utility bills, proof of address, ID documents, any medical evidence and details of any changes in your circumstances. Why? Because if the DWP asks for verification, you often have just days to respond. Days, not weeks. Can you put your hands on all these documents right now? If not, that needs to change. Now here's something that might surprise you, and it's good news for once. The DWP actually has a duty to help vulnerable claimants maintain their benefits. If you're struggling with the verification process, you can request additional support. But, and this is a big but, you need to ask for it. They won't automatically know you need help. Do you qualify as vulnerable? The definition might be broader than you think. Physical disabilities, mental health conditions, learning difficulties, language barriers, all these can entitle you to extra support. Let me share another real story that illustrates just how serious this is. James from Cardiff nearly lost his entire PIP payment, PS627 per month, because he missed one review letter. One letter. He was in hospital at the time, so he had a good reason, but it still took him three months to get his payments reinstated. Three months of stress, hardship, and endless phone calls. Don't let this be you. <laughs> Here's something else that's crucial to understand. The appeals process. If your benefits do get suspended, you have rights, but these rights come with strict deadlines. You typically have one month to challenge your decision, but don't wait that long. The moment you receive a negative decision, you need to act. Start gathering evidence. Contact welfare rights organizations. Reach out to your MP if necessary. The system can be challenged, but you need to know how to navigate it. What about the future? This crackdown isn't a one-off. It's part of a wider strategy to reduce benefit spending. That means we're likely to see more reviews, more frequent checks, and even stricter enforcement. Are you prepared for this new reality? Have you set up systems to keep track of changes in your circumstances? Do you know where to get help if you need it? Let's talk about community support because this is crucial. Do you know someone who might be vulnerable to these changes? An elderly neighbor, perhaps? A friend with mental health challenges? A relative who struggles with paperwork? 
Check on them. Share this information. Sometimes people don't even know they're at risk until it's too late. The technology angle is something we need to discuss too. The DWP is using artificial intelligence and data matching like never before. They can track patterns in your bank account, monitor your social media, even check your shopping habits. Privacy concerns aside, this means the old they won't notice attitude is dangerously outdated. They will notice and the consequences could be severe. So what's your next step? Right now, while this information is fresh in your mind, you need to take action. Check your universal credit journal, open those DWP letters, update your information, set up a system to track changes in your circumstances. Don't wait until you receive a warning letter. By then, it might be too late. Remember, PS 17 million in benefits is at stake. That's not just a number, it represents food on tables, heating in homes, children's Christmas presents, essential medications. This isn't about bureaucracy, it's about protecting your family's well-being. Can you afford to ignore this warning? Before you click away, here's what you need to do right now. First, check all your contact details are up to date with the DWP. Second, review any changes in your circumstances over the past year. Third, gather your important documents and keep them somewhere safe and accessible. Finally, share this video with anyone who might be affected. Knowledge is power. And right now, that knowledge could save someone's benefits. Don't let yourself become another statistic. Don't be one of the thousands who could lose their benefits this Christmas. Take action now, stay informed, and protect what's rightfully yours. Remember, your benefits are not just money. They're your lifeline, your security, your right. Protect them. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll keep you updated with any new developments in this situation. Together, we can ensure no one loses their benefits unnecessarily this Christmas. Stay safe, stay informed, and most importantly, take action today.